Well, this uh, slide is called Cerebral Infarct Recent. And as you know, an infarct is an area of dead tissue due to lack of blood and oxygen supply, usually because of a clogged or ruptured uh, feeding arterial blood vessel. The one thing that you could very easily appreciate from this slide right off the bat uh, is that there is a pretty sharply demarcated area here between a denser uh, type of tissue on the bottom and a looser or more watery type of tissue on the top. And as we go up with the microscope a little bit, you may or may not uh, recognize the lower field as representing uh, brain tissue. And uh, you may or may not recognize the fact that the upper part of the field is uh, inflammatory tissue in which is predominantly loose and watery. And because it is loose and watery, there's more water here. And because there's more water here, there's more H2O here. And because there's more H2O here, you know that there's more protons here. So if you were to tweak these protons with MRI scanners in a certain way, called a T2 weighted image, they would wind up having greater signals. But stay, sticking to basics, of the three general uh, nonspecific ways brain tissue can be injured, liquefactive necrosis is one of them. And that's what we're seeing here. The other two types uh, would be something like gliosis and demyelinization, or demyelination, if you will. And actually, because infarction is a nonspecific pattern of injury, you could basically see all three here. Well, let's go a little bit further towards the bottom, and I think I want to at least convince you that this is brain tissue. And I think you could see a whole lot of glial cells here, much more than there should normally be. Uh, I don't see any neurons yet. Uh, I see a lot of edematous brain tissue, but not quite totally as liquefactive as the tissue on top. And I see a lot of uh, glial cells. Some of them have little uh, spindly processes like this and maybe this. And these are reactive astrocytes. On the other hand, there's a lot of cells that look like this. And these could either be uh, macrophages or microglia, which are the macrophages of central nervous system. Here's probably an astrocyte here. And just to make things very easy for you, in this particular field, we have the yellow areas pointing to the macrophages or um, histiocytes, as you will, in the liquefied area. We have the blue areas pointing to the reactive uh, histiocytes. I'm sorry, the reactive astrocytes. So I don't really think there's anything more to be said about this uh, particular uh, slide. So we'll end it right here. And once again, thank you very much.